Salam Ibu Pertiwiku. A press conference has been conducted in conjunction with the third anniversary of our Chief Minister. And these are the contents. Keep watching. The Sarawak government is looking for two internet gateways to link Sarawak internationally. At the same time, Sarawak is also building more telecommunication towers so that Sarawak may enjoy high-speed internet connection. As you know, we are building our tower and we are uh, at the moment exploring to add our gateway, Sarawak gateway, to international linkages. Uh, as you know, we are working with Brunei with the uh, DST Brunei, uh, working with Brunei because we got, Brunei got the, the gateway that, that goes direct to Hong Kong and from Hong Kong to the international cable and uh, we are doing that and to increase at least we must have two gateways and that will allow uh, communication uh, with certain uh, speed uh, between us and the world. As you know, internally, we are upgrading our, our speed and our target is by the year 2025, uh, our connectivity is based on 5G. And with that, we are working with Huawei and lately, uh, Centex, uh, we are working together with Eon Reality, an international company that is uh, expert in VR and AR. It is virtual reality and augmented reality. He said this at a Meet the Media session on January 6, held in conjunction with his third anniversary as Chief Minister. He explained that that has been the way forward for Sarawak's digitalization program to turn Sarawak into a digital economy. Speaking at the same event, Abang Zohri announced that 50 million ringgit has been allocated to connect all rural schools to the main grid to ensure 24-hour electricity supply. Chief Minister Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohri Tun Abang Jioping said this was done to relieve rural schools from depending on generator sets for electricity. Jadi, the school cannot rely on diesel fuel. At least uh, they can be connected to our main grid. And we have provided the sum of 50 million from the state fund to connect all these schools as recommended by the education department. There they come in and then we just connect to the main grid. Then they don't depend on diesel uh, as a power. And uh, with that sort of environment, at least uh, we can improve the condition of our rural schools. On rundown schools in the rural area, Abang Zari said that although the project fell under the Works Department, the financial resources were from the Sarawak government. Further, Abang Zori said the Sarawak government will set up five international schools based on recognised international syllabus, such as the Cambridge syllabus. He said these international schools would be meant for the best of the best, particularly students of high potential from not well-to-do families whose parents cannot afford to send them to international schools. So these students uh, can be... Can be uh, place in this international school, it is going to be residential school, a residential school, and it's meant for every races, as long as they are qualified to enter the school, and uh, we hope that this school is one of the schools that can fit to the accredited uh, university in the world. And we have made arrangement and that uh, Cambridge University will give us two places every year. And then the London School Economics will also provide us two places every year. And uh, uh, now we are still negotiating with Stanford University, US. 
He pointed out, however, that although these world-renowned higher institutions were willing to take in Sarawakian students, they must first be eligible for admission. And that is all for now. Keep updated to news at TV Sarawak anytime, anywhere.